Yeah, so I started making this video uh, not long after Ralph was released from prison, after he um, went and made a complete asshole of himself in Lakemba, trying to film women and children, uh, got bashed as a result, and yeah, got banged up for five weeks. But it, it never seemed to sort of really go anywhere at the time. Um, but I, but today, like just seeing that shit where he has posted a photo of allegedly the real great Aussie patriot and his child and partner slash ex-partner, um, he, he just seems to be crawling, slithering out of his burrow in the last few days, what with the... The, the attacks against the Greens supporters down at Marrickville Station yesterday or the day before. It's really painful to watch this guy in our community when we, we all know he should be in prison. I mean, he, he, he's frequently filmed women, Muslim women, uh, on trains, on train stations. He's filmed children. He's stalked uh, schools. Like, the guy has got creepy rapist written all over him like if he doesn't end up in prison on rape assault child sexual assault charges like <clears throat> i would be utterly utterly amazed anyway let's go back to the incident that occurred some months back when he alleges that he was attacked at his house by anti-fascists and ironically sherman will fill you in on the details I was just woken up by a phone call from former ADL leader Ralph Sermonara. The left-wing Antifa scum attacked his house and tried to gain entry to his house. Inside his house, he has his wife and a six-month-old baby son. What sort of pieces of shit and a six-month-old baby? Ralph picked up the phone. He did the right thing. He rang the police. What they didn't realise was the iron bar that Ralph had in his hand. So the first one in front of him, he fucking cracked him over the forehead with it. So here's Ralph. He's chased this other bloke he's hit with a metal pole. He's managed to tackle him down. Police have finally rocked up. Are you serious, Sherman? You're just like some fucking head on a stick. You're expecting us to believe that this dude, wide boy... Um, got up out of his little person's chair, grabbed the phone, called police, grabbed an iron bar, ran downstairs, bashed someone over the head, tackled someone else to the ground, and then chased the rest of them. Like, are you fucking serious? Dude, this is Marrickville, all right? Uh, Ralph lives kind of up near here, and this is where he took all the photos of people um, that were clearly pretty pissed off at him. Uh, and, and it was down here. And that's around about 1,500 metres. Like, that's, you know, 1.5 kilometres. You're suggesting that this dude could run 1.5 kilometres. Fuck off. You're having a laugh. I reckon a more plausible um, explanation of events was... Ralph was walking home through Marrickville along El, uh, Marrickville Road. I uh, was spotted by local residents who just didn't want to have fascists on their streets. Might have been given a bit of a touch-up, like he got in Lakemba. Yeah, straight round the corner to Marrickville Police, who gladly put him in the back of a police car so he could take all these photos. Like, uh, in prison parlance... Uh, Ralph is a, a dog, a mutt, a snitch. Um, even Blair called him a cancer. Like, holy fuck. The god of fascists in Australia calls you a cancer. Like, no wonder Ralph suddenly started to post photos of kids and shit like that and desperation, mental illness and desperation. It's a sad, sad thing. But, yeah, fuck Ralph.